earlier in the video, I had mentioned vertical speed required as one of the data fields that I like. On the main nav screen, I'm showing it right here. That's our VNAV function. If on the 430, you go to your last nav page, take the little knob all the way to the right, you'll see the setup for it. The best thing with this VNAV is it's a passive system. Basically, I'm flying Mooney airplanes here at Garmin. So I like to be at pattern altitude. The factory defaults are four miles out. I like to be at pattern altitude about three miles out. So I like to be a thousand feet, pattern altitude above waypoint. That would be whatever waypoint my destination waypoint is. And with the little knob, I can change my position here to three miles. Well, that's pretty consistent. Almost every airport I'm going to, I want to be at pattern altitude three miles out. Now I don't have to do anything else with this VNAV. If we go back to the uh, main nav page, I can just hold the clear key down and do that. As I'm flying along, the GPS knows my altitude. The GPS knows the elevation of the airport I'm going to, and it can automatically add that 1,000 feet and the three miles out. So as I'm flying along, just really enjoying the day, I can look here, vertical speed required. Right here it's telling me I need to descend 300 feet per minute. So what I'll do is I'll just fly along. When I see that thing get close to 500 feet per minute, I'll just start down. If I pick up a little speed on the way down, it'll go to a little bigger number, tell me to go five or 600 feet per minute. If I throttle back or slow down a little bit, it'll go to a smaller number. But it's a fantastic function. I do recommend trying it out. Once you set it up and look at it, you'll understand what it's doing. Now, VNAV doesn't limit us for crossing restrictions. Let's use another example. They say cross Jayhawk at 8,000. Well, that was part of one of the intersections in my arrival. So I'll go over here to my VNAV page. Again, activate my cursor. They say cross Jayhawk at 8, so I want to put 8,000 in. I press Enter. Now, with the little knob, I'm doing this crossing MSL. So that's above sea level. And I'm going to go ahead and leave the three miles in there, so that way I'm down a couple miles before I get to the intersection, so I make sure I uh, am safe on the crossing. Then I come over here with the little knob again, open up the field, and it's got all the waypoints that are in my flight plan. So I press Jayhawk, Enter. Now it's set. Again, I can hold that clear key down. This is telling me the rate of descent I need to make that crossing restriction. This should be pretty easy. It's uh, uh, 85 feet per minute. So I'll just fly along. When that gets closer to 500 feet per minute and I'm ready to start down, I just go down at the rate it's telling me.